Hello everyone and welcome to my Paint It Yourself channel where I'm going to guide you through every step involved in painting your home. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you think this is for you and that way you can follow me and keep up to date on my new videos dropping. And now I'm going to show you how to wipe up paint out of your paint tray and your paint pot back into your paint tub. Great. Well now that all the painting's done, all that's left is to wipe away. Let's do this. Hey guys, so you have your used paint tray and paint pot on your drop sheet. You have your tub of paint ready for the leftover paint to be poured back in to keep fresh for another day's painting. Plastic tubs make life easy to wipe paint back into due to their large surface area. If you're not confident about pouring and wiping away inside, you may need to wipe away outside on some lawn. If you spill any paint, it's not a big deal to hose it away. You're going to start by wiping out the paint pot first. This is the easy part. Hold your pot and simply pour the paint back into your tub. You can rest your pot on the edge while you wait for most of the paint to run out. Now with your brush, wipe out any excess paint while keeping your paint pot resting on the edge. Now that you have most of the paint out, place the paint pot on the drop sheet and get your brush right in there and wipe up every little drop. Easy peasy. Now for the hard part, cleaning the tray. If you're using an average size tray, the job will be easier, so don't panic too much. Before we can make a start, we need to do something with the wet roller. The best way to get paint out of your roller is to use the hook scraper by using the semi-circle part of the tool. Having your roller on the tray, position the roller on an angle and run the hook scraper down the roller to scrape out the paint. Turn the roller and repeat until most of the paint has been scraped out. Hopefully, you will have most of the paint sitting in your tray with minimal mess. If you don't have a hook scraper, try using a normal scraper or the blunt side of a knife. If you have no other options, you could use the edge of the tub. But this could end in disaster if your roller has a loose fit on the frame. Here's another pro tip. If you plan on throwing away the roller, get yourself a plastic bag and open it. Pick up your roller and place inside the bag. This way, you can grab the wet roller with your hand and not get any pain on yourself. Pull the roller off the frame and, as a bonus, the wet roller can now be safely moved to the bin without paint dripping everywhere. If you plan on washing up your roller, rest your roller on top of your paint pot and grab your brush. And then you'll be ready to wipe the paint from your tray back into your tub. With your brush in hand, pick up your tray and start pouring the paint back into the tub. Do this by using one of the corners of the tray. This will give you a steady pour. You can also rest the corner of the tray on the edge of the tub while the paint runs out. Be mindful that the tray doesn't slip off the edge and make a mess. Holding the tray with one hand, and now that most of the paint has been emptied, use your other hand to wipe down any remaining paint clinging to the tray with your brush. Once you think you've wiped up most of it, lean your tray back and wipe up any drips on the underside of the corner from where you poured your paint. Lay the tray back onto the sheet and give it another quick wipe out with the brush, wiping the paint back into the tub. Perfect. Close the lid of the tub by pushing down hard. You'll hear a snap when the lid latches on, which will keep the paint fresh for another day. To wipe paint back into the can, you can use the same method. It's a bit trickier to do seeing that the opening of the can is smaller. Secure the can with your hand, 
so you can wipe up the paint left in the little grooves where the lid fits. Wipe this up the best you can because if you leave paint there and squish the lid back on, the lid will dry and make it almost impossible to get that lid off again. Small one litre cans can be very difficult to wipe paint back into, seeing that the opening is very small and the can can be quite light since most of the paint would have been used. The can could easily knock over and spill, so just be careful. To close the lid on your can, place the lid down onto the can and push down with your palm and your thumbs. With a bit of force, you should get it on. If the lid of the can gets a bit stuck, because there's a buildup of dry paint. You can try banging down the edges of the lid with the bottom part of your hook scraper. This works really well too to get a good tight clean seal to the can to keep your paint fresh. If you don't have a hook scraper, try using a hammer gently or the back end of a screwdriver to close your lid. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. As always I'm going to be super busy making more content for you to enjoy and learn from. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you in my next video. Catch you later.